a small update regarding the Vpainter add-on that I'm working on. Um, actually, two small updates. The first one is that now it's on the asset lib. You can just download it from here. You know, click the regular procedure, click download, and you will receive this folder that I have here, which is the add-ons. And in the folder, you will have like the Vpainter add-on. Uh, and in the additional resources, you will have the two shaders that I was using and uh, the add-on itself. Um, just to show some stuff that I did additionally for the add-on, if I make a new mesh and I add a geometry, which is like a subdivided plane and I pre-made so like a cooking show material here, just simply with the shader. And I go on the painter. And I paint the mesh black. Come on. Paint it black. And in the brush settings, you can see that there are two new settings, size pressure and opacity pressure. These are for Wacom tablets. And the way they work, if you, for example, have size pressure, give the brush set to white, a smaller size, you can see that you can control how big the brush size is based on the pressure that you're using. Straight it again, just to show you. So if I Put it in the brush. I can do this and have different sizes. The same way it works, but this is for the opacity. You can simply control the opacity based on the pressure. I'll just show it again with the black, the white, and if I press very low, the opacity gets low. I'll actually make it can see I press very low the opacity gets quite low and if I press hard the opacity gets harder and much more prominent and yeah that's it so I hope if you I hope that's good for you and if you have some questions or you need something in the add-on please let me know as a comment be trying to respond and do whatever I can when I have the time. Bye.